So you want to go to a bathhouse, but you think you're too ugly or too old. Here's the ugly truth. The bathhouse wants you to think that it is full of these male model fitness type guys when actually it's just full of guys just like you. You. Hey Tricksters, Patrick here giving you the ugly truth about gay bathhouses. It's ugly because it's the truth and some people don't want to hear the truth. So you want to visit a bathhouse but you're too scared to go in. You want to visit a bathhouse but you think you're too fat or ugly. You want to visit a bathhouse but you think you're gonna walk out with full-blown AIDS. Tons of guys are missing their opportunity to have a really fun time at their local bathhouse with thoughts exactly like that. So I'm here to tell you what it's really like. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you a truth that's gonna change your life forever. Don't miss it. If you've been on my channel before, then you know that I love to do videos about bathhouses. And I get comments all the time from people that say, I just think that I'm too ugly to go to a bathhouse. Nobody's gonna look at me. I'm gonna have a terrible time. I'm too old, I'm past my prime. Don't sabotage yourself by already thinking you're too, what a horrible way to go through life thinking that you're too ugly for something. You might not have the classical look that's on the cover of the magazines that they're all pushing for us to look like. It doesn't matter. A tiny, tiny percentage of people actually look like that. You look like you, and that's enough. You're unique, you're beautiful, you're different. If that's what's stopping you from going to the bathhouse, that's the wrong reason not to go. If you don't wanna go because you don't wanna go, that's different. <laughs> then just don't go. It, maybe it's not for you. But if you're stopping yourself from going because you think that you're not attractive enough or you think that you're too old, then trust me, you are really missing out on an experience. Because the trick with the bathhouse is to go in with zero expectations. And that goes for everybody. You don't know who's there. You don't know what they're into. You just don't know. There's too many variables. And that's okay. That's part of the fun. It's an adventure. You never know what you're gonna get. But you just go, you see what's there, and you make the best of it. Let's assume nobody's paying attention to you, but at least at the bathhouse, you have a chance for other things. Are you a voyeur? Great. Watch the porn that's playing on the screens. Watch the two hot guys in the corner that are going at it. Are you an exhibitionist? Great, whip it up. Start f***ing off in the middle of the, the hallway. Get in the sling and do a show by yourself. Who cares? Make your own fun. You gotta take control of your sexual destiny. Don't rely on other people's validation for you to have a good time. We shouldn't be putting our, how we feel about ourselves and our validation in other people's hands. Gay culture is awful for that. We just project, project, project the same cookie cutter mold of what we expect to look good and how we're supposed to look. Who cares? Put all that shit aside. Bathhouses are basically just a microcosm of the real world. However you feel about yourself out in the real world, the real world is gonna project that and bring that back to you, right? It doesn't matter where you are. You're at work, you're on the street, you're at a bar, you're in a club. However you feel about yourself, people are gonna pick up on that and they're gonna reflect that back to you. So you need to put your big boy socks on, okay? You might not be everybody's cup of tea. This is the ugly truth. Might not be everybody's cup of tea. That's not fair, but guess what? Life's not fair. Life sucks, it's hard, <laughs> shitty things happen to good people, good things happen to shitty people, that's how it is, you work with what you got. Get into that fucking bathhouse and you have a good time, regardless of what's going on in there. Trust me, I have gone into bathhouses where nothing has happened. Just made my own fun, I just turned it into my own experience. I got in the hot tub, I relaxed, I enjoyed it, I laid on the bed, I got on my phone. I just enjoyed the space. I enjoyed disconnecting from reality, disconnecting from outside pressures and anxieties. It's just a place to go where you can live in this sexual fantasy land and anything can happen. Now, some of you already know this, some of you don't. 
Recently, I got a strike on my channel because my channel has very sensitive, polarizing topics that sometimes push the boundaries. And I got a strike on my channel, which meant that I wasn't able to post or do anything on my channel for a week. The worst part about that was, was that I wasn't able to communicate with you guys to tell you, hey, I've received a strike, I'm incommunicado, I'm not posting, I didn't disappear, I'm coming back, blah, blah, blah. And I hated the fact that I wasn't able to communicate with you guys during that time. And I felt very trapped to avoid that situation in the future. What you can do is go to patrickmorano.com, scroll down here to where there's the newsletter sign up and just stick in your email there. That way you'll be signed up to my newsletter, which is full of updates and special offers. I keep in touch with you guys. I tell stories, all the things that I can do to keep in touch with you outside of this platform, just in case, God forbid, something else happens in the future. So sign up for my newsletter uh, today. Okay, let's move on to another comment that I get all the time about bathhouses. The fact that people think that it is a disgusting, dirty place. The ugly truth about bathhouses is, yes, of course, there's cum on the walls, there's used condoms, there's things. For a moment, the truth is, none of that lasts for any period of time. They have people cleaning like nobody's business. You will always see somebody in the halls that works at the bathhouse pushing his little cart like at a hotel. Listen, I used to work at a five-star hotel here in the housekeeping department. I know from clean. I know what it takes to clean things. I know how much work it takes to keep things clean. Now, when you think about what happens at a bathhouse, the fact that bathhouses are so clean is really a testament to the people that work there. In my experience, and I have a lot of experience, I can count on one hand the number of times I've found something not up to my standards. Maybe your standards are not as high as... Trust me, my standards are just as high as yours. I just told you I worked in a five-star hotel in the housekeeping department. When I walk by Steamworks, for example, I can smell the laundry from outside, which is constantly running. Spa Access in Toronto just was renovated and it is, trust me, a spotless. It's almost too clean. If you're worried, about going to a bathhouse and it being dirty, there's a couple of things that you can do to get past that, okay? Number one, obviously, bring a pair of flip-flops. There you go, you've got protection for your feet in the showers, in the dark rooms, in the halls. Also, bring hand sanitizer, go to the bathroom, wash your hands. There are showers there with soap. Take a shower. <laughs> like, there is no reason why you should be so afraid that the bathhouse is gonna be dirty. Think of it this way. The people that own the bathhouse, they don't want it to be dirty because if it's dirty, people aren't gonna come. So obviously, they're gonna be super clean about it and do their very, very best at keeping it clean. They want you to stay, they want you to have a good time, and they want you to come back. I feel like it takes a lot to rile me up, it takes a lot to get me angry, to set me off. However, when I get comments that say, I don't want to go to a bathhouse because I don't want to get AIDS. How fucking stupid of a comment is that? What a dumb ass asshole comment to say. What an ignorant, the judgment behind what they're saying and the assumptions, because obviously they've never actually been to a bathhouse, the assumptions that they're making are just so insulting that I really, I get, I get really upset. And you can probably see that in my tone and my reaction now. The ugly truth about a bathhouse and diseases is this. Of course there's STIs and things in a bathhouse, but damn, they're everywhere. You can catch anything from anyone. If you go to a bar, you pick someone up, you bring them home, bam, you caught something. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not where you are. It's what you're doing. It's not where you are. It's a what you're doing, all right? Are you safe? Are you playing safe? Or are you a dump taking 50 loads at once from strangers? 
I mean, it doesn't matter where you do that. You could do that in the privacy of your hotel room while you're on vacation. It has nothing to do with the bathhouse. Steamworks has a clinic. So we have the AIDS Committee of Toronto here in Toronto. And there's a little booth and there's a little man. Well, he's not little. He's like a, a, a normal sized man. And he's in the little booth and he's there and he's giving out con There are condoms available all throughout the bathhouses. All of them, every bathhouse you go to will have condoms. It's your decision whether or not you're gonna use them. Nothing to do with the place. AIDS Committee of Toronto, little booth, grown man. <laughs> He's got condoms. He's there to answer questions that people have. I mean, like it, it couldn't be more available if you try. There is no little booth and an average sized man at your local bar where people are drinking at to excess they're getting completely blotto. They're going home with a total stranger and then having unprotected sex. There was no man in a booth helping them there. Maybe there's no condoms at the guy's house. Maybe you didn't bring a condom either. I mean, j just the fact, of course you can catch diseases at a bathhouse, but you can catch them anywhere. And if you don't take care of your own sexual health, don't expect somebody else to do it for you and don't blame the place has nothing to do with the place. Take care of your own sexual health. This is me grabbing a plump ass and then eating it. You don't have to go to a bathhouse and sleep with every single person there. You don't gotta sleep with the entire place. If you're sleeping with everybody at the bathhouse and you're taking all the dicks, all the dicks, then yeah your chances of catching something are probably higher than if you go to the bar and you pick up one guy and you bring him home. But that's not the place. It has nothing to do with the place. It has to do with who you are and what you're doing. You don't have to go to the bathhouse and take all the dicks in the place. It's so dumb. It's the judgment from those comments that assume that everybody that go to the bathhouses are a whores and be full of diseases. It's that judgment from these people that obviously they are secret whores themselves and they're just deflecting onto something else. Either that or they've completely shut themselves off because they are so fearful and they have internalized homophobia. They hate who they are and they hate, they've been told that gays carry diseases and everything like that and they just hate themselves. Either way, those people that are leaving me those comments you can go f yourselves. That's the ugly truth. Now, I'm so excited. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, congratulations, because I'm about to impart a little nugget of wisdom. I remind myself of this all the time when I'm feeling apprehensive about something, if I'm feeling anxious about something, if I'm fearing something that I'm thinking about. This will change your perspective on it and help you to get over that fear and do and accomplish the thing that you're afraid to do. Ready? Okay, I'm reminding you of this. If you've heard it before, if you haven't, here we go, ready? The thought of something is always worse than the reality of it. This is 100% true. Repeat after me. The thought of something is always worse than the reality of it. We just plant these thoughts and these unfounded fears in our minds about things that we don't know about before we try them and it stops us from trying something. So if you're that person that is afraid to have an experience at a bathhouse because you think you're too ugly, you think you're too old, you think, you think, you think, you think, stop thinking. You're gonna enjoy it more than you're freaking yourself out over. Here's the beauty of the entire thing. If you go and you hate it, you never gotta go again. And guess what? Now you know you hate it. You don't have to talk about it. You don't have to go. Check. But forget bathhouses. This is for life. The thought of doing something is always harder than the reality of doing it. Repeat it often. My work here is done. The ugly truth is out there. If you have decided now that you are headed out to a bathhouse for the first time, then you need to watch this video to prepare yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah!